Hello all, and uh, welcome to my next unboxing. This is going to be the um, start of a little string of videos all about the same stuff. Uh, I was able to, I've mentioned it before, Space Jam, A New Legacy, Space Jam 2, whatever you want to call it. Um, these aren't for me, I'm just kind of opening them and giving them away. Uh, not to anybody who watches the videos. My cousin... Uh, is, you know, me and him used to love watching the first Space Jam movie together. Uh, basketball is my favorite sport. He played basketball, um, won a state championship, uh, all kinds of stuff. And as kids, it was kind of like one of our favorite things. Like anytime I was around him or with him or anything, like we made it a point to like watch Space Jam all the time. And so, you know, he has kids now, he's married, has uh, three kids, and with the new movie coming out, like, this is like him kind of living vicariously through them and like getting them into it and all this other stuff. So when he heard there were toys and um, everything, he asked, he knows I'm into collecting toys and stuff, he basically just asked me to find these things. Um, he didn't want all the kind of random stuff, he wanted the big ones, these like, um, 12 inch ones and then he wanted the uh single packs and the double packs um that's it uh he didn't want the like weird stretchy ones or like the the like dunking lebron thing like he didn't want that he just wants uh the big ones and the like standard kind of set um i eventually found them all at least all the ones released so far i don't know if there's more stuff coming out for that movie or not but um uh yeah, I, I eventually did find them all uh, at my Walmart. Um, it took a little bit to piece it all together because Walmart got these 12-inch ones first. They got Marvin and, um, as you can see over here on the back, LeBron. So uh, they had these big 12-inch ones first. Then they had the singles. Um, and then they had, like, one double, and I had to, like, piece together those dumble, the double packs, the two packs, uh, over the course of, a, like, a month or two. Um, it took forever to get all the two packs. Um, but yeah, uh, first one, we're just going to go right into it. Uh, the 12 inch talking, uh, Marvin the Martian and a mech, I guess is what it is. Um, it says right here on the bottom, Marvin the Martian ultimate tune squad. Um, I don't know if that's what they're calling this line. Like these 12 inch ones are the ultimate figures or a deluxe figure or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, so, Marvin the Marsh, we got LeBron on the side, yep, let's get into this, um, so, uh, I bought them, and me and my cousin basically made a deal that, uh, he would pay me for them, and I could unbox them for my channel, and then just give them to him. So that's basically what I'm doing. Um, oh, well, there we go. Uh, yeah, so basically I'm just unboxing these and uh, all the Space Jam stuff. I'm going to bag them up and then I'm just going to take them to them. Uh, that's pretty much how this is going to work. Um, these are the arms, looks like. He's got a clawed arm and then he's got like a regular kind of mech arm, basketball. Get into those. I'm interested to see, like, I'm not going to try to say, like, I have the highest hopes for this movie, but I think it's going to be, like, a fun, entertaining kind of thing, so. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I need a new blade. That is getting dull. Okay. A lot of tape on the back here. No twist tie. Well, a couple on the bottom down here. But, uh, for the feet. But nothing really up top, I don't think. So there we go. We got this peg. I think that's what holds the arms in and stuff. Um, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, same thing with this one. 
That was the other side. Uh, we'll just cut the feet out here. It should come right out. There we go. Uh, Marvin does come as a uh, separate piece. A little instruction thing. Uh, so yeah, you do have a little tiny kind of posable Marvin. Uh, so let's see if we can get that open. He's got like the tiniest little plastic thing on him. Uh, I almost don't want to attempt to try to cut it. I don't want to mess up the actual toy. Hmm. Interesting. If I go from the other side and try to chip away at it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, so there's a little Marvin. Um, he really doesn't have much articulation. His head does have his head has like a surprising amount of articulation. Uh, just like a basic red body with his little shoes. Um, and then his arms go up and down and that's about it. Um, he does have a little bit of a waist articulation there. Um, he's got like this like green disc around him. Usually, you know, Marvin wears a little gladiator helmet with a little broom on top. Um, and he has like a little gladiator like uh, uh, kilt thingy. I don't know what it's called. You can roast me in the comments for that. Um, but um, this one's like flat, like a disc. Usually it's down, I think, isn't it? Um, uh, either way. Uh, so, here's the actual mech. Um, um, it does talk. There you go. Or make sounds. Um, it does have some voice. So there's like a shooting sound. I need my space modulator. There's Marvin. That one's like it's walking. Oh, that's good. Where's the kaboom? That's nice. Okay, there you go. I think we went through the whole repertoire. Oh, maybe it's random and now it's repeating. Uh, either way, it has a lot of little phrases. I'm surprised. Um, it does legs move. They don't. Okay, so he's got more than what's there too. Um, legs go forward. They don't go back though. Um, on the back, uh, you just take this off. Um, I'm pretty sure that's just the batteries. If you want to take them out, prevent any kind of corrosion or anything. Um, but yeah, on the inside, like he's got little. Um, like controls like to hold them like he's uh controlling the mech so there we have that uh, let's see if we can get these arms kind of attached see how that works okay so uh there's the basketball just a little plastic basketball. It's got a hole in the back so it can peg into stuff. Um, so it looks like we have the left arm. Uh, interesting that this is all pretty much a hard plastic. Um, Marvin himself is also just one little chunk of plastic. The upper part of the arm is plastic. The forearm is plastic. But the hand is actually like a rubber. Um, it's like a hard rubber. That's interesting. Um, doesn't really have much. Uh, the hand doesn't even have any articulation, but it is just that kind of movable rubber, that bendable rubber. And it's pretty much just one joint. I think it will go up and down, but it, that's all you're getting out of it. So. Oh, there we go. Yep. Clicks right in. Uh, 
And then we have the one that's like a clawed hand. Same thing. Uh, this one actually has like no articulation. Uh, yeah, it doesn't move. So you're stuck with that position. Um, it does have a thing for the, uh, like the claw does open and close. And you can push it out. It's pretty like wobbly when it's pushed out. Uh, and then it just comes right back in though, so. And it clicks in place to hold it, so. You don't have to worry about it like falling out. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Get in there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it has like little slots that kind of line up to pop it in. So you have to kind of line it up right. Um, I'm guessing the ball can just go into the claw. Yep, there you go. Um, I don't think it'll really... Yeah, it doesn't really go in there. I guess if you wanted this... Uh, like just create your own little accessory for it i have no clue um so we'll just put the ball in the clawed hand that's how it is on the box too so we'll just put that there and then our last little piece is we're gonna put marvin i'm sorry that's a little out of frame but there we go. We got Marvin. So yeah, that's uh, our little Marvin the Martian in his mech. Um, he does grip onto the little thing, so you don't have to worry about him really falling out unless you like really shake him or anything. Um, which I'm sure he will because, like I said, this is going to my my uh, cousin's kids. So uh, I mean, he's neat looking. It's of all the things I've kind of bought, uh, this is probably the most toy like actual children's toy one i mean don't get me wrong they're all toys and they're all kind of meant to be played with uh the wwe figures um marvel legends all that but this is kind of like the first just obviously a children's toy that i think i've done so um yeah but that's our marvin the martian and his little mech or that's big mech if you want to call it that um yeah Anyways, that's it. Um, I'm guessing these little pegs that were in the box didn't do anything other than cover the peg holes. Um, or, I mean, like, if you take the arm out to cover the peg holes, I guess, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there it is. Um, <coughs> uh, excuse me again. Um, yep. Marvin the Martian is a mech. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look uh, in the next video. We are going to um, take a look at the... Oh, see if I can get them in frame. The LeBron James 12-inch figure uh, for Space Jam. So, yeah. It'll be a, like a, a kind of just a little look at both of those. Sorry, that's a little out of frame. Um... And then after that, we'll get into the single figures and then probably do the two packs last. Um, I think I can do all those and I think I can do all the singles in one video and then do all the double packs in one video. I'm going to try to do that. Uh, but yeah, Marvin the Martian in a mech suit. Um, yeah, I'll pack this guy in a bag and get him ready to get some, just take to my cousin's house, I guess. So I'll catch you guys in the next video when we look at the LeBron and see you there.